We're Silo Studio. Uh, my name is Oscar Lessing and this is Atua Aparithia. Uh, our studio practice is, um, is looking at industrial processes and materials and taking them into the studio uh, to use them in a much more hands-on kind of way. We kind of scale down what industry does into a more kind of um, bench area practice. But we often look at how industry makes things so we can um, adapt them for more kind of uh, new and different uh, way of doing things. For this project we were invited by the Crafts Council to work um, in the Humber region um, uh, with the project title uh, of the show was uh, States of Play and our area was Freedom. The starting point for this project was to work with uh, companies based in Hull. We found Hamburg Galvanizing and Daifuku Logan, which are two companies with amazing skills to work with metals, and we wanted to work with, with both of them together to create something specific for the gallery. We looked at the gallery in the area where, where this uh, show is going to be hosted, which is at um, Humber Street Gallery, and the whole area used to be involved in fruit and vegetable trades. Daifuku Logan and Humber Galvanizing uh, were on the list and they're both uh, specialising in metal work in general. One's an engineering company and the other processes metals with coatings of uh, hot zinc. Uh, they're very specific and incredibly good at what they do. We wanted to uh, kind of showcase the skills that were available and the relationships uh, in Hull on the back of uh, 2017, uh, Hull 2017. Often what we are looking at is the mistakes uh, in industry, things that they don't necessarily see as um, good uh, outcomes. We like, to, we like to see what we can do with the things that don't work quite as well as they should do. So often we're trying to engineer mistakes uh, to create new ways of making. That for us is experimentation. We want to see new ways of making and that's the way we do it, is by uh, engineering these small mistakes. So we chose the pineapple uh, because of its iconic status. I mean, it's never been grown properly in the UK commercially uh, it, because it needs such a uh, warm climate to grow. And Hull has, has always been a trading city, a support city. And Humber Street itself has always been involved in, um, or until recently, has been involved in the fruit trades. And so that's something that's really important to talk about all these things within the project. My name's Ian Buffy, I'm a Senior Manager at Daifuku Logan Limited. We met Oscar and Atua, um, started work on uh, trying to find a way to support them with this piece of art. It's different to our product because it's a static piece of, uh, piece of art, whereas our, our equipment is moving machinery and it's got a serious connotation in terms of uh, whole baggage security systems throughout the world. We program and manufacture these metal parts and then we go into the assembly process for them in order for them to go and uh, have the galvanising touches put to it. So we've helped support them in the design and you know they've got their own ideas of how they want it to look from an artistic perspective and we just wanted to support them in that and we're looking forward to seeing it when it's finished. We are not experts in laser cutting and folding metal and we're definitely not experts in, uh, in dipping other bits of metal into hot zinc. That's something that Daifuku Logan are experts in and Humber Galvanizing are experts in. But what we can bring is something slightly different. We bring a naive approach. It's a hands-on, experimenting uh, way of asking ourselves questions and, and not knowing the answers. And the only way of finding out is to explore it with our hands. Our first visit to Humber Galvanizing, we saw that they have a few posters explaining failures in galvanizing, like things that don't work right for them as a quality control. And one of the things that they have in these posters is small holes. They don't like small holes because they tend to block when they get dipped into sink. So we thought like, hmm, what's the smallest hole you can get to be able to block all of them, not just one? So we, that's how we thought of mesh and why we decided to work with it. For the body we use the finest steel mesh and we fold it. It, it behaves very much like fabric and paper, it's a mix in between both. So it keeps the crease like paper but it is flexible as fabric. So we, we fold it to 
try to replicate the pattern of the body of a pineapple. And for the leaves, we use a rougher stainless steel mesh that we cut into leaf shapes and then we form them to, to give them the curvature and of the leaves. Then once we have all the mesh ready, we clamp it to the stainless steel and then we, we took it to, the, to hammer galvanizing for dipping it into the sink. My name is Richard Speak. Uh, I'm the general manager of Humber Galvanising here, here in Hull. The city of culture is, is something which is once in a lifetime, you know, and it's a generational thing which will, will, will no doubt never happen to this part of the world again. And we thought it was a, a massive opportunity for ourselves to, to participate and help with the uh, promotion of that. The products are, are quite different than what we do. We, we galvanise anything from uh, a washer right through to a 21 metre beam within the wedge group. These sort of things are very different to what we would normally galvanise, very different materials. Uh, but, but nevertheless, um, it really does open your eyes to what can be galvanised once you see. Through much discussion with the team there, we didn't know whether initially in the test this was going to work, whether the, the zinc would, would, um, would cover stainless steel, would catch in the pores of the woven mesh, uh, but through testing of different thicknesses, what we got was something that was very surprising for us and surprising for the humble galvanising. And there's an element of randomness that's really important to us, uh, where each, each piece is made exactly the same, but because the textile falls in a different way, uh, everyone comes out slightly differently. We've been very lucky to, to be given this freedom to work with both companies. Like, we love to have freedom to play in, in industries, but in this case it's been the first time that we have freedom to play in two different industries. This project has been a great surprise for us. Often we don't know the ending of a project when we start it because we're working in an experimental area. But Daifuku Logan, Humber Galvanising and Humber Street Gallery have all been incredibly receptive to us and our kind of our sense of discovery in new ways of making, in the skills that, uh, that are based within Hull and looking outwards to, to make new possible ways of making. When people pass by in the street, they're going to have a, a small element of surprise. They're going to question how that's made and why it's there. That's something that's really important to us.